hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in last video i have showed you how you can create a container using python code in this video i will describe you how you can delete the file from your azure container using python okay so for that uh, let me log into my azure portal so the website is portal.azure.com so if you didn't subscribe for the azure portal you can go and you can create an account and you can give your card details and create a free account so that you will get a free credits and you can use your azure for your learning purpose as well as your small projects as well so this is my azure portal so in this video i'll show you how you can delete a file from azure container so for that you have to come to the home page and from there you have to navigate to storage accounts so you can see like in Azure services, I have the storage accounts. So if you do not have this menu, you have to just type the Azure account. I mean, you have to just type the storage accounts over this search option and you'll navigate to the storage accounts. So if I'll open this, you can see I have the storage account already created and the name is sample YouTube upload. So if I'll go inside this file, sorry, not file in this account, you can see there are so many options available. If I'll go to data storage and containers, I can navigate to my containers whatever I have, I have created and inside this container we have a file i just okay i do not have file file i'm going to create a file or i can upload the file through code as well and my uh, objective is to delete the file through python okay so for how, how to do that so for that we need to write a piece of code so i'm going to my visual studio code it is already open for me so this function is this program is specifically for uh, creating a file uploading a file in the azure container okay file is successfully uploaded to azure container so we will execute this program first so this program will upload the file to your azure container and later we will delete the file from azure container for that i have to uh, create a python program okay so first let me activate my virtual environment so i have to go to miniconda and i have to just activate my environment conda activate vnv st app so this is my virtual environment i'm using python 3.12 i have to navigate to desktop and i have to navigate to my folder which is youtube uploads and cd azure basics and their azure tutorials okay so i think in this folder i have kept all the files and yes i have kept all the files inside this particular folder so let me execute this uh, program first so I have changed my account key and account name so after this video i'll delete all those details so and the file is already available okay so this is my file which is c user sr desktop youtube upload so youtube sample.txt this is my file and i have pasted the path over here so everything described in my first video if you've gone through my first video of this azure tutorials you can find you can find all the details like how you can upload the file and how you upload it to azure container okay and how you can create the container how to create the azure storage accounts okay first i will execute this function my objective is nothing but to upload a file in the azure container so let me execute this i already activated my virtual environment i just have to type python and the file name the file name is container.py so i'm typing container.py that's it so your file uh, this is my file name is successfully uploaded to azure container let's verify that so for that i have to go to azure again and i have to refresh this page so the file should be available in the container okay so i can see my file is already uploaded to container okay now come to the use case i navigated to the home page again so now my use case is to delete the file from the azure container using python so this is my storage account sample youtube upload if i'll navigate to this sample youtube upload you can uh, see there are so many options available at the left side i have to navigate to data storage and then click to containers so if i'll go to containers you can see sample xyz so this is the container okay so if i'll click this container you can see i uploaded one file just now okay I want to delete this file from this Azure container, which is sample XYZ123. This is my container name. So how to do that using Python. So I have to create a Python file first. Okay, I'm creating a Python file over here and I'm naming this Python file as delete file dot py. Okay, so few things are same and few things you need to change. What I will do I'll copy the whole code from my previous file, which is container.py. I'm copying the whole code. Okay. 
I don't know how to delete this uh, file because previously I never deleted a file from the container using Python code. So this video I'm going to explore that. Okay. So storage account key, storage account name, these details we will leave as it is. Okay. The first thing is I have to create a blob service client. I'm deleting this function. This is not at all needed. Okay. We'll keep our program as simple as possible. Okay. So blob service client, I have to make this blob service client and I'm leaving this line because it is required and keep it is keep is as it is. Okay. Next one is I have to delete a file from Azure container. Okay. So for that and I'll mention one uh, thing to you guys. The container is under storage account and the files, whatever available under the storage account, I mean container that called blob. Okay. So each and every file, whatever available in the container is called as blob. So I have to delete blob. So here I will write a comment. files inside blob this is called sorry files inside containers is called blobs okay and one more comment i want to write the container is inside storage account okay so these two things you need to remember so see guys i have created blob service client in my line number nine okay next my objective is to access the blobs okay so think like this first i have the storage account inside the storage account i have containers inside the containers i have files or blobs so i have created the blob service client next line i have to create the client for accessing the blobs accessing the container first so container client okay i'll create a container client and how to create the client container client for that i have to check whatever the things available inside this blob service client okay so i don't know what are the details available inside this container client let me check that and i have to pass container name for sure okay so here should be something like get container details or something okay so that i'll explore how to explore that I'll go to my terminal. So there are several ways to execute Python commands. I am using my, my terminal itself. So what I'll do, I'll simply execute the first line. First, I have to navigate to Python command prompt. Okay, so this is my Python command prompt. This is just for learning purpose, okay? These do not have any relation with my coding. So I'm just pasting the first line, which is from Azure storage blob input blob service client and giving enter. So it is imported and next line I have to give the connection string. Okay, because I have to pass the connection string over here. Connection string this, control C and I have to paste it over here, connection string. That is also fine. Next line is I have to import this. I have to do this blob service client is equal to blob service client from connection string. Okay, let me give you enter. So I have created a variable named blob service client. I want to see whatever the things available inside this because I have to create a container client. How to do that? The command is very simple. You have to give dir and inside first bracket, you have to give blob service client. I'm copying this control C control V and give enter. So those are the functions available inside this blob service client. I have to create I have to create a container for container client. So I have to get for either get container client or something is available there or not. And yes, get container client is available. So I have to create a client for my container. So I'm copying this function. Okay. So here I have to paste this get container client. I have to pass the container name. Container name. Okay, so can container name I have already defined. This is my container. That's it guys. Nothing else. Now I have to write the function or else I have to write few lines for deleting the blob. Okay, so I'm giving a try and catch block. Try this container client. I have to access the blobs inside this container client for that. Okay, now I'll do one thing. Again, I don't know what is the function available inside container client. Okay, so container client, I'm pasting this line. 
okay container name is not defined very good so i have to define the container name so i am just copying this line i'm pasting it over here and then again i have to execute container client okay now i want to see what is the functions available inside this container client for that i have to give dir and then i have to paste container client i'm pasting this and those are the functions available inside container client so what i need to do i need to delete blob as i mentioned in my uh, code you can see like files inside the container called blobs i have to delete a single file so you can see delete blobs and delete uh, blob both are available so we want to delete a single file so we can copy this delete blob i'm copying this and try container client dot delete blobs and blob name okay so blob underscore name so blob name i think i have to define it blob underscore name so this variable i am defining it over here so what is the blob name you have to get it from your azure portal you should have known right what is the file you are going to delete so this file name you have to define so my file name is anirvan file 11 i am going to define it over here anirvan file 11 okay and i have to pass this blob name over here so if it is successful i have to give a print statement okay print your file and then maybe blob name deleted successfully okay or else it will throw an accept accept exception as e i'm just directly printing the error that's it okay so this is my just a second yeah so this is my code okay so i have to execute this code oh let's try whether it is working fine or not so for that i have to go to my terminal and i have to give python sorry in lowercase you have to give python delete file dot py okay so i think or else we can do one thing we can give exit exit okay yeah so i have to give command like python delete file dot py let's execute this okay your file blob name deleted successfully okay let's verify so the name is not uh, coming correctly because uh, there is some mistake so that i'll fix but let's try to the azure whether my file got deleted or not yeah so you can see like my file got get deleted from the azure blob or azure container okay so we can go to containers we can go to the container and you can see there is no file so it's got deleted from the container so this is the code how you can delete a file from container you can copy the code or you can take a screenshot and this credential i will change after this video so you can create your own azure account and you can create your own credential and that's it for this video i'm going to create another video series another videos for under this azure basics tutorial and if you have any thoughts you can give me a comment in the comment box and guys please subscribe to my channel and please share this video as well because that will be uh, motivation for me and that's it for this video see you in the next video thank you